Accelerated Learning Binaural Beats. Listen to these 40 practice management terms that are common on the practice management section of the A.R.E. Play the audio before you sleep or when you wake up in a relaxed state. Repeat the word and use your imagination to apply the word to what you already know. Let's begin. At will employment. At will employment refers to an employment agreement where the employer can terminate an employee or the employee may terminate their agreement at any point for any reason. For legal protection, the employer should have a witness present when presenting the termination, keep records for the reason for terminating, offer a release and severance agreement and offer a reason for termination. A101 A101 is the standard form of agreement between owner and contractor where the basis of payment is a stipulated sum. A133 A133 is the standard form of agreement between owner and construction manager as constructor where the basis of payment is the cost of the work plus a fee with a guaranteed maximum price. A195 A195 is the standard form of agreement between owner and contractor for integrated project delivery. A201 A201 is the general conditions of the contract for construction. This contract sets the rights, responsibilities, and relationships of the owner, contractor, and architect. Various design bid build agreements incorporate and reference this umbrella document. B101 B101 is the standard form of agreement between owner and architect. BIM decreases the time in the blank phase. The idea is that BIM reduces the time spent in construction documents while lengthening schematic and design development phases. Building commissioning. Building commissioning is the process of verification and validation that performance of the building 
after completion meets the requirements set by the design team early on. Business Interruption Insurance Business Interruption Insurance covers the architect if any unforeseen event interrupts normal operations of the firm, such as irrecoverable files or data loss. C401 AIA document C401 is a standard form of agreement between the architect and the consultant providing services to the architect. AIA document C401 is suitable for use with all types of consultants, including consulting architects. This document may be used with a variety of compensation methods. Construction Change Directive Construction Change Directive is a written order to the contractor prepared by the architect and signed by both architect and owner that directs a change in the contractor's work which involves a change in the project cost or time. Usually the owner or architect produce a CCD when they want to keep the project going, but will figure out the schedule and cost impact with the contractor without delaying the job that needs to get done. E203. E203 is the Building Information Modeling and Digital Data Exhibit. E204. E204 is the Sustainable Projects Exhibit. Evidence-Based Design Evidence-Based Design is the design of a building based on data and key metrics. Fee Basis Types Fee Basis Types, or Fee Structures, describe the type of fee used to charge clients. The most common types include stipulated lump sum, fixed fee plus expenses, percentage of construction cost, hourly to a maximum plus expenses, hourly open-ended with no maximum plus expenses, fee per unit per square foot, plus expenses, which is typically used on residential projects, and finally retainers as an advance payment usually paid at the project's initiation. FICA or FICA. FICA stands for Federal Insurance Contributions Act and is a payroll tax that combines Social Security and Medicare taxes. Both employer and employee pay 7.65% each. This number may vary depending on your state. General Liability Insurance General Liability Insurance protects the firm from personal injury, bodily injury, and physical property damage. If the mailman enters the office, slips, and falls, then general liability insurance covers these types of accidents. General Commercial Liability Insurance General Commercial Liability Insurance protects the same areas as general liability insurance, but in addition, protects against libel and slander and stolen intellectual property. How to ensure B101 aligns with C401. The best way is to integrate the prime contract as an exhibit into the consultant contract. 
Indemnification Provisions Indemnification provisions in a contract states one party is obligated to reimburse another party for damages caused by errors and omissions. Architects are careful before agreeing to such clauses inserted by the owner into the contract, as the architect may not be insurable, putting the architect at tremendous risk. Indemnity clause in a contract for a construction project might state that Party A will do stated work at its own risk, and Party A indemnifies Party B against all loss. Initial Decision Maker Initial Decision Maker, or IDM, is the person identified in the contract agreement to make the initial decision on claims and disputes that arise on a project. The IDM shows no partiality to the owner nor to the contractor and is not liable for results of their decisions. Integrated Supply Team Integrated Supply Team is a resource planning strategy used with integrated project delivery methods where participants of the supply chain work together to derive the greatest cost benefit to the IPD team. Memorandum. Memorandum is a method to document design decisions that were made outside of a formal meeting. The decision is documented and distributed to the project team. Minority Business Enterprise. Minority Business Enterprise, or MBE, means a minority or minorities, or women, have a majority ownership and control of a business, in this case an architecture firm. In some cases, bidding process provides incentives to MBEs. Notice for minor change. Notice for minor change is a written notice referenced in the B101, where an architect communicates a minor change in the work, as long as it doesn't affect the contractor's cost or schedule. Operating Agreement. Operating Agreement is a document used when forming an LLC to outline the firm's rules regulations, and provisions when it comes to operating the business. Pre-construction conference. The pre-construction conference is the first and most important meeting during the construction phase or the start of the work where topics of discussion among the architect, contractor, and owner include communication protocols, project procedures, project startup requirements, bonds and insurance, and more. Prime Consultant. The Prime Consultant is hired by and reports to the client Release and Severance Agreement. Release and Severance Agreement is an agreement presented by an employer to a terminated employee. Severance pay is offered while the employee releases any claims against the employer.
retainer. Retainer is an advance payment or some portion of a fee provided to the architect up front to begin a project. A retainer along with project milestones, monthly hours, and percentage of completion are all types of fee structures used by architects for their services. S-E-C-A, SECA. SECA stands for Self-Employed Contributions Act and are taxes funding Social Security and Medicare. Self-employed pay the full share of SECA taxes. Shareholder Agreement. Shareholder agreement is an agreement signed when establishing a corporation. It describes how the architecture firm will be operated and specifies shareholder rights and obligations. Staff plan. Staff plan is a plan showing which employees are allocated to which project or task. This is created at the beginning of a project when fees are determined. Subrogation. Subrogation allows the insurer to recoup costs from the at-fault party's insurance company. Technology Liability Insurance. Technology Liability Insurance covers an architect in the event that data is stolen electronically. Workers' Compensation Workers' Compensation covers the liability of an employer for the death, disability, and injuries of employees caused by accidents. Architecture firms typically purchase workers' compensation insurance for every state where they have an office, since laws vary from state to state. Work plan. Work plan is a type of schedule that organizes tasks and milestones necessary to complete a project. <laughs>